I've been doing this for five hours. We're taking mine, baby! In dead straight. Look at that ball play. Look at that ball play. Before we go on with the rest of today's video, I would just like to announce that today's video is actually brought to you by Golf Channel. If you guys haven't subscribed to Golf Channel on YouTube, you should probably do that because they actually cover golf in a very fun and make it super interesting and accessible for everyone. Also, on Golf Channel, there's new content every single day, such as golf news and analysis, like Morning Drive, Golf Central. There's also instruction, like School of Golf, NCAA Golf, Travel, Equipment, World Long Drive, Highlights, you name it. Golf Channel YouTube connects people who are interested in golf with each other and connects them to the game they love. Finally, last but not least, Golf Channel covers all the tours, PGA Tour, LPGA Tour, European Tour, but most importantly, it makes golf super fun and enjoyable to watch. If you guys wanna check out their YouTube, you can click the link in the description down below, go subscribe, and show some love. With all that being said, let's get right back into the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy today's duct tape challenge. Hit me with a squat. Ooh, Gotta go all the way down, I didn't like the feel of that. Good boy. That's how we're starting today's video, guys. We're out here at Forest Oaks Golf Club again. Today we're playing golf with clubs that literally have duct tape all over them. We got a seven iron, we got a pitching wedge, and we got a three wood. I have no clue how the golf ball is gonna react. This is more of a test, because I just wanna see when you cover up the club face, what the golf ball does. Today we're gonna be doing a little 3v2 scramble. Scramble. Have we even picked the teams? Bro, I had scrambled eggs this morning. <clears throat> Special guest, Henry. Yeah, me too. Honestly, you three. So 3v2, Henry, Matt, Steven versus Colin and I. We're going to be playing two holes today, a par 5 and a par 4. We're starting here on hole something. It's a par 5 and it's super, super tight. Up there, the fairway gets to about uh, 10 yards from what I've heard. Yeah, we're going to try and hit 3 wood off this first tee. You're going to have to carry the team here today. This club face feels at least a couple pounds heavier. I don't know how this is going to react, guys. Don't worry about it. You just got to smack her up in there. Gosh, oh my pewter. That thing was crushed. <laughs> what? That was just over the bunker up there. It didn't even affect it at all. First attempt with the three wood and it went dead straight, probably still 235. Listen, listen. That's okay. We're still in play. Colin, I'm telling you, the camera adds at least 10 strokes to your score. Yikes. You were hitting them good on the lit range the I other day. I literally, I was at Drive Shack and I was smoking them. And then camera turns on, Shank City. At least I'm playing with Garrett, not Steven. By that, I meant oh, straight ride. Gosh, Literal God. duplicate. That was like, God, you guys suck. Shot. You guys literally suck. All right. Ooh. That was like the exact same Yeah, remember when you said we wouldn't uh, hit any houses? Yeah. By that, I meant straight ride. Just try and make good contact because so far we have one of three people who have made good contact. Yeah. Literally every shot Garrett hits with every club, if, it doesn't matter if it's literally he's swinging a rubber band, that thing is going in the fairway. And some other house just got hit. We're not the only one. <laughs> and dead straight. Look at that ball flight. Look at that ball flight. Oh, first review of the duct tape clubs. Honestly, if you make good contact, it goes pretty well. Like, all right, guys, so that's where my ball ended up. I don't know if you can see it. Just right there in the right rough, about 200 yards out, par five. This is where Henry's ball ended up. So they're in the fairway also about, I don't know, 225. Uh, both of us are in pretty solid position off the first shot, so. Steven's the, the man of grass tees. Like, he knows how to put the grass in the cat, in the slat, in the smet schmoot. <laughs> Bro, edit that out. All right, Steven here. How far are we out, Henry? 7,000 yards, get a grip. 220, but those trees are definitely in play for the Steven fade. I'll go ahead and go. Oh, no, no. <laughs> No. We're back on the roof, that's fine. I'm gonna play it smart here, safe. Oh, that's a title of four, I won't lose that one. Again. Matt using a seven iron here. Four. Oh, baby, that was clean. Solid shot, it's like just a knuckleball through the air, if you guys can only see it. That thing feels weird. Let me just clean my club real quick. <laughs> it's duct tape. Harry oh Henry. My dear, bro. Zoom in on that, baby. Oh, green Left side. side. Baby. Okay, so Henry hit two perfect shots straight down the middle. They're gonna have to get up and down for a birdie. So far, it's just Henry versus me. Colin's going first, laying up with seven iron. Then I'm gonna go for it with three wood. Good shot. Right side, kind of spinning. 
That's Bad. fine. Nice shot. Well done. That's still gonna probably turn out better than mine. I don't think I topped that. What? We're gonna watch that a replay. An instant replay on that. that. I don't think I topped it, but it topped. So this is where Colin's balling it up. We just got a chip to get up and down for birdie from about, I don't know, 40 yards. So not a bad position. We have a pitching wedge to hit here. All right, so I'm sure they're explained where they're at. They're in grass and golf balls duct tape. This is the first time we've hit a wedge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Wait. Wait. Oh, I just died. Digging oh. ditches. Well, we got a putt at birdie. Not bad. All right, just left the green, boys, uh, to get up and down for a birdie. What do you have to say? Dude, if I was playing rooftops only, I'd be dominating you freaks. How many houses can you hit in a matter of 30 Bro, I minutes? I hit every house with one ball. That could go in. That, that could go in. Oh, my. Bro. <laughs> That's really solid, Matt. Thank you. <laughs> solid, solid shot there, Matt. Well done. Henry to chip in for eagle. We are playing stroke play, just so you guys My know. My own eagle. This would be insane. Henry, the hairiest How did Steven do better than us? Colin Garrett in the background. Putting with the three wood. That I bet that was Garrett's idea, Colin's idea. I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to be able to edit Matt a hairline or something. Oh. That is weaker than my whole body. Are you going to check on its beak? He might have got it. Go in. Oh. That's oh, a really unfortunate cool. mistake. We're going we're gonna to putt with the three wood, Steven, so don't even try. Nice putt. Oh. What? Oh, good putt, Steven. Wait, so it was just Henry and Steven on that hole. You did nothing. I didn't do anything. You ever feel defeated? Bird, shut it. Yeah, you guys are up by one. We're going on to a par four dog leg right. Not really sure how far it is, but we are even par, Colin and I, they're one under. So pretty solid start. This is what our second hole looks like. We're gonna hit a three wood. You kind of have to go up and over those trees if you do hit three wood, so. That way? That was clean. I don't think I coughed it. No I don't think I hit that left. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> tore down that tree. It just, I think I took some bark off a tree. It came back into the fairway. There's a human in a car to the right. Jeez, he's good. He hasn't hit a bad shot. Not. Keep that camera steady because that ball is. Whew. That is Holy hard. yes, dude. We've got a great ball in play here. Mine did not go left and Steven did not top his ball. That did not go right. No way. That's dead straight. Hello, trees. Mine was going straight right into the trees, but it did bounce out. And I think it's in the right rough. So we're in a decent position. Four. <laughs> I didn't hear nothing, we're good. <laughs> Bro, I think you just hit 10 houses. So Colin's out of play, I'm in the right rough, and Henry's perfectly in the fairway. Not ideal, that is to say the least. We're about 150 yards out. That's the green. We kind of have to go up and over these trees here. Colin? Garrett said he's going to hit a flop seven iron. I don't think we have a chance here. Great shot. That is the water. I heard a little bloop. That's not good. Calling up here, trying to dial it in, up and over the trees. We're in play. Sure, baby. Right, so here's the deal. I'm going to hit a great golf shot here, and then Henry's not, so then that way I can contribute to the team. You guys are about 100 yards out. Pins in the back. God dang it. Well, that's not good there. All right, Henry, you do it. God. Your turn. You go. Car pass to the left. Not bad. Oh, I contributed. Wait, I contributed. We're taking mine, baby. Woo. We're gonna check and see if my ball is not in the water. Yep, it's definitely in the water. It goes right. Every time. All right, you got this, Colin. Start it left. Oh my shit. Guys, this challenge was a lot harder than we thought it was going to be after that first tee shot. Not a good finish. Um, my philosophy has always been, you never have to be good, you just have to have good teammates. So, you've heard me say it before, I'm sure, and we're taking my shot here. I've contributed to the team. Ergo, 
I'm the best player here. Steven up the hill trying to knock it up there. My ball ended up down there, so we're gonna have to play that shot to get it up and down for a bogey. The odds of us winning or even tying this challenge are just about zero at this point. Well, never mind. That gives us a chance if they all hit a bad shot, kind of like that. Right, well, they got a putt at it, so... Pitching wedge in hand. Not a lot of room to work with. Gonna have to hit a good shot. Garrett now. Oh. Yo. Great shot. Kind of comes down to this. If they even two putt, they will end up winning the challenge. Uh, we got this for bogey, so they have to three putt. Yeah, it's not looking good. Especially after that, that's a solid, easy tap in. Nice. That is about it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's challenge. I know it was a really short video, just two holes. More or less, us trying to test out what the ball would react like on a duct tape face. I might try and do this like on a track man on a range and just see the difference in the numbers because I feel like that would be a really cool video. Let me know if you guys wanna see that down below. Also, let me know if you guys wanna see different materials on the club face. I know Steven is thinking about doing a flex seal challenge. I wanna do a super glue challenge, so let us know if you guys wanna see that stuff. Fully metal, like freaking foil. Henry, thanks for having us out, of course. Uh, Matt, what are you doing? Juggling one, two, one. Ooh, you guys aren't even ready for this. I'll keep you going. Ooh. Thanks for tuning in. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, you guys. Shut up! Leave a like if you hate us. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, guys. You know you want to say it. Bro, I didn't. If you liked the video, be sure to stay tuned to the next one. Until next time, you guys. Let's flip out of here. Let me literally. Matt, let me flip. You gotta be flipping kidding me. All right, All right. See you in the next one.